What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So, uh, one of my viewers, uh, one of my subscribers, he actually asked me a question the other day, and it's actually a question that's come up a couple times, and that is, uh, hey Matt, it's kind of different variations of it, it's, Matt, um, you know, why aren't you doing shooting videos anymore? So I figured, you know what, I'll dedicate a quick video to it, and then I'll tell you guys exactly why you haven't been seeing a whole lot of shooting videos from me. So let's get into it. So when it comes down to it, guys, there's actually three reasons why you don't really don't see me do a whole lot of shooting videos anymore. Um, the first main reason is that uh, before when I was doing all my shooting videos, I had access to private property. I was working at a uh, gun place, a gun store, and I was actually the lead instructor. And every Sunday, that's what I do. Every Sunday, I wake, I'd get wake up early, go into work early, go shooting for about an hour, record a video do a class all day long, get them qualified by mid-afternoon, and then uh, after work I might go shooting afterwards too, and maybe get another video in. So every week I'd probably get about anywhere between 100 to literally like 500 rounds in a day, uh, a week when I, was, when I had access to that property. Um, well, it just turns out that I don't work there anymore, right? So I don't have access to the property. I have a really good job right now. I have a really, really good job, and I don't have access to that private property anymore. So it's kind of hard to do videos when I don't have access to the private property. Now, there's a lot of people says, well, can't you just go out somewhere and shoot and something like that? And it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work like that in Connecticut. Um, in the state of Connecticut, there's a lot of various laws and stuff like that that you have to follow. And you have to have a certain amount of property, a certain amount of acreage, a certain distance from different towns and stuff like that. And every town has their own little twist on it. So, and I just don't happen to know anyone that has a property, so I can't really do the videos how I'd like to do the videos, like set up the cameras where I like to set up the cameras and all that other stuff, and go in and out of the holsters. Nowadays, I'm pretty much just like your average day Connecticut resident. I don't have a membership at a club, which I'm working on right now. But I go shooting at places like Wolf's Indoor Range. I go there a lot. Um, that's over in Bristol, Connecticut. I go, I go shooting there a lot. Sometimes I go to Blue Trails. Majority of the time, I go to, go to Wolf's. And when I'm there, there are certain rules you got to follow, and a lot of the places, they don't let you pull the gun in and out of the holster. And if I did a video, that's kind of what I'd like to do for you guys, is teach you more drills and stuff like that. So that's the first reason why you don't see me do videos very much. The second reason you don't see me, video, see me do videos that much is nowadays, because I don't have the access to that, is when I do go to these ranges and stuff like that, I really don't want to spend a, a couple hours. I have to pay. It's usually charged by the hour at the range. I usually have to pay a certain amount to go shooting for a certain amount of time. So if I'm at a range and I pay for an hour and say it's like thirty bucks, I think it's like twenty five bucks because I'm a vet. It's like twenty five bucks to work, go there for an hour. Well, in an hour, if I'm focusing only on getting a video done, first of all, I can't really bring my camera in there. You might see me with a GoPro do some shooting stuff with a GoPro right now and then. But for most part, I can't bring my camera equipment in there. So when I go to those places, I, I want to focus on my shooting, on my marksmanship, because I just don't get to shoot as much as I'd like to, as much as I used to be. So when I go, I am dialed in and I'm practicing and I'm doing everything I can, working on the fundamentals, TNT, doing bullseye shooting, all that other stuff. And I'm focused in, I'm dialed in. I don't want to spend that time making videos and, you know, pay for an hour and have to bring, this is only a quarter of my equipment this is like my donut light and I have tripods and I have different cameras and stuff like that I don't even want to be struggling to set that stuff up for an entire hour you know it would take me half an hour just to set up my equipment before I could even shoot and then I'm, I'm limited and I have to pay more money to stay there a little bit longer so it doesn't work very well I just it just it's just not working because it's just too much equipment along with my equipment along with my range bag and my ammunition and the guns I bring and the me time at the range I just it's it, it just doesn't work very well like that so you won't see me doing that that's another reason you won't do it that's the second reason the third reason is because this is YouTube all right this is YouTube it's not the YouTube we used to like that's not the YouTube we used to know um, there's a lot of guidelines um, there's a lot of uh, things that they are not big fans of 
And one of those things is shooting videos. They are not a fan of shooting videos. And if you look at the big channels, the people that shoot all the time, they're the ones that do the most complaining when it comes to, you know, not having the support and their stuff being demonetized because they're shooting so much, all their stuff gets demonetized. I know that from experience. Now, like I said, I don't depend on a channel um, for my income. I, I pretty much do videos because I enjoy doing videos. I like teaching. All right, I like having a platform that I can go out there and I can teach people. I'll teach average everyday Joes, you know, debunk some fake stuff that you'll find online and stuff like that. I like doing that stuff or just talking about whatever I feel like doing. I enjoy doing that. Um, I don't get paid a whole lot to do this. I actually almost don't get paid much to do this at all. The only payment I have is through my supporters and they are good supporters. They've been, been with me for a long time. So I don't really get paid a ton of money to do this. So when it comes to, you know, the whole YouTube thing and the, you know, the whole, you know, all your stuff's demonetized, that part is, doesn't bother me. The part that bothers me is that with all the recent guidelines, there's a lot of people that have been getting strikes. And the problem with getting a strikes, if you get a certain amount of strikes, they shut down your channel. And I don't want to lose my channel. I really don't want to lose my channel. So yeah, I walk in eggshells. I, I do my, I try to avoid the videos that YouTube doesn't like to do. And it just so happens, uh, they don't like shooting videos. Uh, they just don't like shooting videos. And yeah, I know it sucks. I really would want to get out there and do actually give you actually more presentation drills and stuff like that and how to shoot behind cover, how to pie corners. I really would like to get out there and do that. But like I said, it's, it's, there's just, it's just not worth it. I don't feel like losing the channel over something like that. So, but anyway, that's the other reason that I don't, guys, is as much as I want to get out there and do it for you, like I said, it's just uh, my hands are tied when it comes to the YouTube. And, you know, a lot of people said, well, we'll just do it anyway. And it's just, I don't want to lose a channel, guys. I really don't. There's a lot of channels that are dying down and disappearing. I'm not going to be one of those dudes. I'm going to stick as wrong, around as long as YouTube allows me to stick around. So, it's that first reason. I don't, don't have access to the property. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't have access to the property. Second reason, like I said, is I just don't want to haul all that equipment around when I have a limited amount of time in order to go shoot. And third reason, guys, uh, well, YouTube doesn't like shooting videos. I mean, I do a video. I upload it. The way I work, I do a video. Then I upload it to my computer, and then I edit it and stuff like that. And then I uploaded it to I uploaded YouTube, work on the titles, and do that all stuff. It's like a couple hours of work just to get my, one of my videos up. And then I keep it on private, and then I'll release it like the next day or something like that. So it's not public yet. And I'll set up everything, including the monetization, prior to I release it. And then before, you know, I didn't even release it yet, and yeah, my stuff's already demonetized. So that's just how anti-gun they are. I didn't even make it public and they already are demonetizing it. So I'm like, but once again, said uh, my income is from my work and I work hard. Um, so this for me, like I said, I'll be around for a long time. I'll be talking. You just won't see as much shooting videos as you normally do. Anyway, I hope that helps, guys. I hope that answers the questions for you. If you like this video, guys, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me. If you like the content of this channel, guys, go go check me out over at Patreon. I'm over there. Go, The link will be down in the description below. Whether you want to help support the channel with like a dollar a month or whatever it is, it goes a long way. All right, there's some reviews. I really want to get out there. I'm saving that money up so I can do, get some reviews out there. I'm going to be doing some uh, gun light reviews and stuff like that. So I'm saving that money up so I can buy that equipment for you to do it. I don't have sponsors, guys. Yes, I have like stuff like Core and stuff like that. Um, they just sent me products. I did a video. I liked it, but I don't have sponsors, guys. I buy my own ammo and stuff like that too so every little bit counts it goes a long way anyway guys remember it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other peace